Hi everyone, my name is Shannon Duggan and I'm just here to teach you a few tunes today on the banjo. So I'm going to teach two jigs. The first one is called Chucky to the Wally Lum and the second one will be called is called the Cordal. So we're just going to start off with Chucky to the Wally Lum first, so I'll just play it through for yourself. <laughs> So that's the full tune there. So um, we're just going to sort of take it part by part and I'll walk you through it as well. So uh, the first part just goes and I'll do that again. So one, two and again one, two. And then the next part goes. So just hold that B there at the start. And one, two. And again, one, two. One, two. And one more time. One, two. And we'll just play them two parts together so it should sound like. So one, two, and again, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. and that's them two parts done. So we'll go on to the next part now, which just goes. Which is simple enough, so we play it together now. One, two. One, two. One, two. And one more time. One, two. So we'll put them three parts together now. So one, two. And again, one, two. And we want to next part now. So this part, um, it starts off with the G triplet, just. And again, one, two. And again, one, two. And one more time, one, two. So that's half of the first part done. So it should sound like this. And we'll just do that slowly now. So one, two. And again, one, two. And again, one, two. And the next.
next part is the same as the first part, so it just goes. So we'll play that one, two. And again, one, two. And then the the last part is also a bit like the first part, except for the ending. So it just sounds like. Sorry, it just sounds like. So we'll try that. One, two. And again, one, two. So we'll just put them, the two last phrases together. It should sound like. So we'll do that slowly. One, two. And again, one, two. So that is the whole first part done now. So we're just going to play through a few times slowly. So, one, two. Also do a run up into the first part, which would sound like which just the B C and then you go into the So we'll play the last line which is with the we run in. So it's just B C and then you start on the first note. So we'll try that. So one, two. Try it again. One, two. So that that's the whole first part done now, which um it's actually simple enough. So we'll just try the second part now. So the first line goes. So we'll try that a bit more slowly. One, two. And again, one, two. And again, one, two. And one more time, one, two. Next part goes, which was also the first part, so you already know that. So we can put these two parts together and it will sound like. So we'll try that a bit more slowly. One, two. to the next part which is just which is a bit like the the first part 
off the second part, which goes. But you're adding just a few extra notes, which is just the C and a B you're adding. So it would just sound like. So we'll just play that slowly. One, two. And again. One, two. One, two. One, two. And again, one more time. One, two. And then after that, it's just. So we'll try that. One, two. One, two. And again, one, two. Part of this is actually just the same as the ending of the first part, which goes. But we'll try the last two parts together, which we didn't play actually, which is just. We'll play them two together. So one, two. And again, one. Two. One, two. And again, one, two. For the for the G to the D in this, what I would usually do instead of sort of lifting your finger up and going over to the G, I sort of just bend the finger down so the finger is still on G, but I bend it down and it hits the D as well. I would just usually do that, it just sounds a lot cleaner. So it would just be, go across like that instead of, just sounds a lot smoother to me, so that's how I would play that. So. We'll try that phrase again. You can play it like that if you want. So, one, two. One, two. So, and then, like I said, the ending is just the, end, the same ending as the first part, which is... So, we'll just play that a few times. One. Two. And again, one, two. One, two. So we'll just try the whole second part um, a few times through. So one, two. the same as first half which is just the BC. So we'll play this song a few times and you can put the BC in before you play this but so the ending and going back into it would just sound like so we'll try that a few times. One, two
that's the second half done. That's the whole tune. Uh, so we're just gonna try and play the whole way through now. We'll play it slow enough and um, see how we get on. So from the start now, one, two. <laughs> So um, I think I'm going to give you just a few things you can put in it, like ornamentation and some chords and stuff, and then we'll play it again. We can play it a bit faster as well. So um, in the first part, instead of playing, you could do. So you're just hitting the G string. It's just. Instead of just playing a long B, so you would usually just play, but you can play. So we'll just play that slowly and see how it sounds. One, two. And again, one, two. Put that in again when you play a bit in the second half. So of the first part, so it'll just sound like So we'll play the whole first part actually and you can put them parts in it because I'll put them in and we'll see how it sounds. So one, two. GFG, you could just play. You can play the G string there as well, the GFG. So you could play the the first time you hear that, and then the second time we could play. So it'll sound like this. Just try that slowly together. One, two.
you can uh, switch about them parts if you like, or you can leave them out or cut them in as many times as you like. But um, that would probably be how I would play it. But you can do whatever you like. So um, in the second half, there's some bits as well. So you could play. <laughs> You can do that as well. So uh, we start on, well, you can start on the BC going into it, but it starts on the D and you just play your low D string with it. So it's on like, just like that. So we'll just practice that actually. One, two, just like that. So when you're going into it and you play the BC, it'll just be, and then, you can play the E and the C after it, so it would sound. So we'll try them two together. One, two. And again, one, two. And again, one, two. And then you just play. And then you can play the low G again here with the GFG. So we'll play the whole second half with these parts in it. So here we are. One, two. So you, you can also play them double strings in a different way as well. You could just play play both the strings at the same time. But um, I would normally just play them separate. So I think it sounds nicer that way, but you can play it whatever you like. You can also put in a chord here in the B. I would usually play, so I usually just go. For that, you're just hitting your G and your D string. So B. And you can also put the bit that we learned in the first half in, which is the the low G and the B. So B. You can do that as well. So um, yeah. Also for the ending, we can end it like when you end it for the very last time. So it's just G D low B and low G. So B. So we'll just play them a few notes. So one, two, and again, one, two. So we'll play just the last phrase with that ending, so it should sound like one, two. And again, one, two. And one more time, one, two. So we're going to play the whole second half now, and you can put in any of the parts that I showed you, some of the chords or stuff, where you can put your own stuff in. So we'll just give it a go now. So one, two.
approaching the parts and stuff so we can just play it slowly a few more times and you can put all this stuff in it and then we'll speed it up so one two <laughs> So that's the whole thing now. So I think we're going to speed it up a little bit now and see if you can play it. <clears throat> so, about that speed. So, one, two. So that's our whole tune now. Um, I think we're going to move on to the next tune now, which is called the chordal jig. And um, these two tunes are playing nice together, actually. So we'll go through this tune, and then maybe at the end we could play these two tunes together and see how it sound. But I'll just play this tune through, please first see what it sounds like. <laughs> Bye. 
that's a whole tune now and there's also an end to this tune which is very nice and I'll show you that at the end but we're just going to take it uh, bar by bar again so the first bit goes so one two and again one two and again one two and one more time one two and next bit is just so play that one two one two Play into this game yeah, and just sound, gonna sound like. So try that. One, two. And again. One, two. And again. One, two. And one more time. One, two. So the next bit just goes. One, two. One, two. And again, one, two. One, two. And one more time. One, two. And now the next bit just goes. So that's just two beats. You could also do a B triplet there. But I would just mainly do two Bs. So we'll try that anyway. One, two. One, two. One, two. And again. One, two. And one more time. One, two. So we're just going to put those two last bits we did in together, which should sound like. So we'll try that. One, two. And again, one, two. And one more time. One, two. So we'll put all of them four parts together so it should sound like. So we'll do that. One, two. And again, one, two. One, 
And the bit after this is actually just the same as the first bit that just goes. So I don't think we need to go through that again. So then the ending is just... So we'll try that. One, two. But it's just the same as in the first line, which just goes. So there's only one new part here. So the very last line should just sound like. So we'll just try that a few times. One, two. first part done so we're just going to play the first part a few times so one two first part just sounds like one two and again one two Next part just goes one, two, and again one, two, one, two, and one more time one, two. So with those two parts together, she just sounded like 
So we'll do that a few times. One, two. It just goes, which is about like the start of this, but instead of playing D C D, you're just playing a D triplet. So try that. One, two, and again. One, two, one, two. just goes so starting on an F triplet one two and again one two one two and again one two one more time. One, two. So if we put uh, this bit and the last bit there together, it would just sound like. So play them two together now. <clears throat> One, two. One, two. two bits that we did before that and play it with these two bits it would just sound like so we'll try that one two Is just the same as the starting, which is so. Yeah, then the next bit is just so. Try that one, two, one, two. part just goes we'll try that one two one two again one two one two so we put then we put that whole last line together actually, it would sound like So we'll try that. One, two. And again, 
One, two. <laughs> So that's a whole um, second part of bond, so we can just play it through a few times and see how you get on. So, one, two. So that's our all nice. So I think we're just going to play it through slowly a few times, the whole tune. So starting from the very start. One, two. <laughs> So that's a whole tune now, and um, I'm just going to show you an ending to that actually, because when you end it on the D, it just sounds a bit out of place. So what you're going to do is you're going to play the first part of the tune that goes, which sounds like you're going to play a tune again, but after that bit, you just go, which is just E, F, A, and then you play low A and D together, which would sound like. So we'll go. So I'll just play the end and up and then do that. So it would sound like. So we'll just try that. So starting with the DCB and we'll play that ending. One, two. And again, one, two. And one more time, one, two. 
So I think we'll try this tune at a faster speed now. So we'll be like one, two. So that's a whole tune there, and you can add in your own stuff as well. Like when you see a B, you can play it there with it, so it's on like. And anytime there's a high D, like. You can play a low D with that as well. So um, I think we're going to play the two tunes together now. Uh, we'll play them slow first, and then we'll play them at a speed. So we're playing Chucky to a while alone and then going into the chordal and we'll do the ending for it as well. So one, two. <laughs>
let's end two chains now. Um, I think we'll just try them a bit faster again. So playing two times each and the end for the quarter, just a bit faster. So we'll be one, two. and I hope that you had a good time learning them and hopefully the next session that you can play these two so yeah thanks for watching